Spencer from the Philippines. Hi. Hi, Christopher. So how nice to see you competing here already in your third competition this season. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so how do you feel about uh, yeah, coming from autumn passing to over Surf Nibelhorn Trophy and not Finland Trophy? It's a very rewarding thing. You know, I didn't skate or compete for so long and coming back and going through all these changes and all this process, it just makes it worthwhile, you know? Like, it's hard, it's hard to think that you came from here, but then you started gradually going up and up. And most of, the, most of the time, it's actually just me doing well for myself, you know? And having fun. And so you stayed a little bit in Oberstdorf after the Yeah, yeah like, a, like a week and a half afterwards, yeah. It was nice. And then you came here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so uh, last season you returned. You had a long break from competing. Yeah. So was, what made you to come back? Well, when I was gone, uh, one of my contracts were, was heading to the Philippines. And during the time I was gone, I was asked to come back to compete multiple times. But then I didn't want to come back. But then as time went by, we went to the Philippines. Next thing you know, it, it was uh, like a universe saying, you know, Go to the Philippines and and talk to them, see what they need, and <clears throat> I feel like I have a um, responsibility to uphold, especially after all these years. And I was told that we're hosting the Southeast Asia Games, which is uh, which is going to be hosted by the Philippine Skating Union, and it's also um, it's, uh, showing 11 countries. Like you know, it's a small Olympic for Southeast Asia, so. And I told myself, and I thought to myself, you know what, if nothing works out, I could always have options later in life. And I decided to come back, and I don't regret coming back at all. It's, I'm, having, I'm having a good time. Like, it's, I have a different view in skating now. It's more enjoyable for me. It's more because you feel more, yeah, you do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. You enjoy uh, just the atmosphere of competing. Yes. And, uh, I just look at everyone coming to watch us, and I think we're all stars. I feel that everyone's a star here, and I just want to embrace the fact that we are all here, you know? Yeah, and obviously, the audience really enjoyed your performance. Mm -hmm. uh, I was happy. I was pretty happy with how I skated. But on the other hand, it's also probably uh, a little challenging for someone from a small skating country of course. and uh, skating costs a lot of money. So how do you deal with this issue? <laughs> well, it was very hard. Uh, when I was gone, I saved money. And then when, when I came back, I knew I was kind of on my own for a while. But then later on, it got better because we started getting more and more from the Federation. Things have gotten so much better from what I believe. And that's one of the reasons why I feel I came back feeling like I'm doing well and because we're getting better. We're gradually getting better. And when I came back, I was all on me. I was... I, <laughs> I didn't... When I came back, I didn't work for six plus months. I trained my heart out. And then as time went by, I got, I got a job as a coach and then I um, started, you know, doing it all for myself. And I was supposed to get a condo, <laughs> but I, I did something, I took a risk and I don't regret, regret the risk. And I, was, and I surrounded myself with people who cared about me. My mom, especially, my mom was a fighter all these years for me. Um, I'm seeing someone back home and uh, the clubs I'm in, um, like the San Diego Fierce Inn Club, and everyone has been really supportive of me coming back. Oh, yeah. that's great, yeah. The most important thing is, as you said, you enjoy what you're mm -hmm. doing. Thank you. And uh, your programs, uh, the season. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's gotten very emotional, especially. Yeah, it is, I imagine, because, yeah, you feel the people that I was you. <laughs> yeah, you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like showing emotion much. Oh well, no, but it's part of skating. Mm -hmm. So if you <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So let's maybe touch your programs a little bit. Yes. So yes. Your free program, you skate to La Terre du Ciel. Mm. That's a music made famous by Alona Savchenko. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was looking for music, and I thought, why not look at past Olympic champions? Yes, even if it even last Olympic champions and it's always good to find new music and her programs touched me with uh, especially after she's been skating for so many years and she never gave up on her dreams and you know and this program actually I interpret it as if it was my it's like a story you know like 
I wanted to tell people how I lived the dream and then I lost the dream and then I went through so much from you know how you go down low but then you start rising up your character starts rising up next thing you know you fight until you get to here and then at the end you know I when I face the ceiling like this I'm like thank you God <laughs> you know it's just it was just a story I wanted to tell people you know it's about my um, my struggle as a skater and as a person and we all go through these things so I just wanted to connect to the people and under have them understand how things get better yeah I think it, it really comes across mm -hmm. uh, so what about your short program huh? the short program um, I <laughs> Well, I skated to Moonlight Sonata last time, and then I kind of got bored after a while. It's good music, but I just, when I started doing the same thing, I was like, okay. But then when I heard Claire de Lune, I felt more relaxed and floaty, you know. And I just wanted to show that as a, as a male skater as well, no matter what, what you look like, men can be graceful as well and it's hard to skate graceful you know and it's hard to skate with control and you know it looks easy but inside of me i'm like okay i'm doing this beautiful thing you know <laughs> I'm like, it's hard but it's rewarding yeah and it looks really nice yeah. thank you thank yeah. you because uh, then you show this flow and mm -hmm. motion. yes thank you so, uh, and also because yeah, we touched the, the Philippines, uh, team is growing. I mean, there was is another Filipino yeah. skater yes. here. And I'm so happy. Yes, I'm so happy right now that we have that. We have this. I think this is the first time ever that we have three out of four disciplines yes. in one competition. Right, there's a lady, and two men, and a yeah, woman. yeah, and I'm really happy that we have a we have a good team. We, I think it can get better always. Everything could always get better. And I'm happy with what we have right now. So what are your next plans now after this? Well, Southeast Asia Games, of course. You know, it's in uh, November, like end of November. <coughs> but it's hosted by the, and we're hosting it this year. So it's the Philippines that's hosting it. So I thought I'd do my best. That's all I want to do this season. Do my best, see how I go. And that's the only thing I can say is like I did it, <laughs> you know. And then, uh, but you will continue after the Southeast Asian Games. Most likely, but we'll see afterwards. I haven't, I haven't taken a real break since I came back home. When I ended my contract, I had weeks to prepare for a nationals, and I was like, you know, out of shape. But then I got back into it. So we will see what happens. We'll see next. what happens. We'll see what happens. It will, I just hope it gets better from here. I know it will get better. I just want to keep the faith. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I mean, that uh, free program was better than in Overstore. Yeah, yeah. I felt that too. <laughs> but Overstore was, it was different feeling. I, I felt like I was going for it. Here, it's, I was going for it, but I don't know, it just felt different. Everything was different, uh -huh. yeah. But I was happy. I was pretty happy with how we do it, yeah. But it could be, yeah, mm -hmm. feel it so in a different way. But. Right, like, this sport is very subjective, and you know, I'm, I'm, I have no control on what I get. Although, even if I do do it, you'll never know. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, first of all, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, absolutely for the upcoming A Southeast Asian Games. Yes. And we hope to see you competing also afterwards. Yes, hopefully, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.